Hey everybody! Welcome back to Oprah Cat playing Super Pip and Mario. I just fin finished chapter two in the last episode or the one before that. But anyway, um, I explored a little bit of the flip side. I found the heart pillar to the next chapter, but I wanted to play very quickly, like one or two games, maybe three, because there's like three different games in here. Very quickly, just wanted to see what they are. There's uh, Forget Me Not, Tilt Mansion, and Mansion Patrol. So uh, I don't know how these go. Um, I, guess, I suppose I guess I read the first one, forgive me not. This game takes flips, 10 flip side tokens, sure. I also bought an extra 15 tokens, or whatever, yeah. Point at the screen. Okay, this looks like a pointing game. Uh, this looks like a matching game. Start round. I don't understand how this works. Oh, I see how they switched. That's cool. I don't see how they need to switch at all. How, how does this work? This is where it's a matching game, obviously, but then they decide to switch positions? So Bowser and Bowser. So these two. Yeah. I'm not sure where Peach was. I think it was down in there? No. How many ways can I be wrong? And the O-Chunks is the last one to, mi to match up. <laughs> okay, so I get three wrong. Oh, this looks promising. Oh, great. I'm probably gonna end up failing here. That one was easy enough to figure out, but yeah. I might purposely get it wrong here just so I can end it early. But I just wanted to see how this game works. Um, I see they're switching now, so that's lovely. And that was wrong. That's lovely. And I'm wrong. Okay, cool. Whatever. Did I lose? I lost. Oh no. I just wanted to see what it was very quickly. It's a matching game. That's cool. Whatever. I made it to round three. And I got seven flipside co tokens out of that. Hold your remote sideways. Okay, I'm just going back to this. Um, let's try Tilt Island. Takes 10 flip side. Yeah, I have 17 right now. If I can get at least three, then I can uh, play the next one without having to buy more. Oh. Oh, I see. I just have to tilt. And I don't have control of Mario other than tilting. And yeah, that's about it. Oh. I see how this goes. I'm supposed to avoid the enemies and whatever. I see how this goes. And I missed. I see how this goes. Okay, I barely managed to get through that. Um, that was round one? Okay. Round cleared. So I just have to tilt the Wii Remote and that's basically how this works. I see. And there, it's raining enemies, oh my god. If I get like five peaches in a row, is that... Do I get points for that? I can't make him run any faster than this. If I, if I just get, like, utterly screwed... How many lives do I have? Like, if I hit, get, get hit two more times? While we see how this game goes, I'm gonna purposely lose right here, because I just wanted to very quickly see what these games were. So just, just kill me. Just kill me! I'll, I'll do it legitimately sometime later, but not right now. Oh my god, please kill me. There we go. Okay, cool, I lost. I lost the game! Yay! Can I move on to the next one? Okay, I did earn barely enough points to play another game. Yes, okay, let's see what this one is. Point at the screen, okay. Do I have to match all the boos or something? It's not round one. I just have to shoot the boos now? Am I just shooting the boos? Are they gonna come out? I guess I'm just shooting a bunch of boos. And they gradually get closer to me. I guess if they get too close, that I will be damaged and lose some health. Or... That's, that seems like the most logical explanation. I get graded based on how well I shoot them down. It seems like a simple enough game. 
Just shoot all the booze. Is that it for round one? Or is there more? No? Round one's taking a long time. Oh god. Okay. You're giving me a light lightning round. Just shoot. Putting everything on me at once. Any more? Okay. Round one? Round, round one takes forever, doesn't it? Oh my god. Oh my god! Toad! Oh god. Oh. Oh my god. I guess one of them got too close because I was trying to save the toad. You know, that's the first time I've seen the toad other than the very beginning of the game. Start round two. Okay. Well, I, su I suppose I can just end the game because round one take took a long time. So I'm gonna shoot that purple one down. So I see how this goes. Alright, fine. I'll, I'll just let them hit me and end the game. There we go. Okay. So, so we see how the games go and I guess I'm just gonna go through the yellow door and move on to the next chapter because I, I just want to move on. And I got four flip side tokens. Whatever. That, that's fine. Hold the Wii Remote sideways, because that's how I normally play the game here. Anyway, I'm just gonna go back up the thing. Up all the elevators onto the top of the tower and go through the door. Okay, so I'm back on top of the tower, so let's go through the yellow door and start chapter three. Awesome. This'll be fun. Mario and his new friends opened the door unsure of what they would find. All the while, Merle's words about finding the other two heroes rang in their minds. Were these other heroes somewhere in this new world? If not, where? Meanwhile, the creeping void grew larger in the skies above Flipside. The hopes of all worlds rested in the heroes finding the next pure heart. Chapter 3-1 When Geeks Attack Oh, this is the geeky episode. Wait. If this if this is what I think it is. If this is what I think it is. Ver very uh, blocky art style. I think I remember this one. I think I remember liking this chapter. So this is where that door leads. I suppose the next pure heart must be nearby. That's odd. I can feel it nearby, but where could it be? Uh. <laughs> yes, it's this guy. I remember this guy. He's such a nerd. And he has like a weird, um, weird creepy fa fantasization with butterflies. I think I remember him. Hi, Technicurl. I cut a ship of a pixelated butterfly. My friends the digibutter that nerd are gonna freak out when they get the word of the find. What the hell voice am I doing? I can't do it like a standard geeky voice with like the... Um, whatever. I must bring it home. I can't miss this week's episode of Gr The Greatest Chronicles. No way am I going to entrust my digital record now to tape an episode so epic. This is so high technical. I'm sorry, that voice is not at all finalized. That voice is horrible. I'll have to figure out what voice to give him later on. Whoa ho ho, a kidnapping. Oh, the despair, the awful spectacle of it all. The shocking scene occurred right before my very own tender eyes. Is that a talking bush? What? Well, I guess that's a wrap for that pixel now that that freak Francis has got her. Is this like Moses or whatever? Are we gonna go talk to a, a talking bush? But it needs to be on fire. Whoa ho! <laughs> no, it's not a talking bush. Who's this guy? A friend of that butterfly girl that got nabbed? Well, that's a pity. That geek grabbed her, Francis. Basically the nerd to end all nerds. Plus, he's got this thing for butterflies and, well, all things nerdy too. If he gets his sweetie, sweaty mitts on something he likes, there's no getting it back. He collects stuff and keeps it in his fantasy fortress. It's like a geek paradise. 
Um, whoa, now you want to know where Fort Francis is? Well, if you go all the way down for miles and miles, you'll find it. You're not thinking of infiltrating the nerd lair and rescuing her, are you? Yes, yes I am. Look, nobody likes having their butterfly kidnapped by a geek, but it's dangerous. I know, you don't understand. Still set on it, eh? What, what a tender moment. I think I got something in my eye here. Listen, let me give you some travel tips. You listening? Good. All I got for you is three critical tips, so remember all of them. Here's your first tip. A bunch of no-class jerks are holed up in the castle up ahead. It ain't gonna be easy getting past them, but here's the juice. It's an old castle. You do your thing with that red X mark and maybe something will happen for you. Now for my second tip. If you somehow pass those clowns in the castle, you'll see an ocean. Can't miss it. A scary sea monster lives there. The beast is huge and cranky. But if you toast its red flipper thing, something is bound to happen. And here's the last tip. Once you swim your way through that ocean, you'll see a humongous tree. There's a huge gorge on the other side. There's no jumping across it. Look for the red wind and do something with it. Then you can get across. Get all of that? Good. You be careful now. If by some crazy chance you do save her, come back and tell me how you did it. Okay, that was actually a lot of really useful information. So what I'm getting under, what I'm understanding is that everything, all the tips have to do with being something being red. So let's look out for red stuff. And also, since I don't have Tippy, I can't point at the screen and uh, get info and stuff. So I'm basically, just stuck with Mario and Peach and whatever pixels I have other than Tippy. So that's lovely. Um, I can still flip though, so I still have that. I can still flip. Yeah, I, th I think I remember liking this chapter a lot. I might be the only one. I don't know people's opinions of stuff. But yeah, I guess if there's any anything hidden, then we're kind of doomed, aren't we? There's a lot of... Uh, a lot of these guys. Just go that way. I can't do anything about this piranha plant. I'll just jump over him. It's fine. Um, anything over here that I'm missing? There's a jumpy thing. I'll, I'll get that. For sure. Safe block. I'll, I suppose I could take that too. Oh my god, that thing has been telling me my batteries are low for like freaking three days now, okay? <laughs> Don't worry about it, man. Um, oh, okay. Can I go down the pipe first? I should probably check that. No? Okay. What's up the ladder? There's a hidden door. Well, maybe I'm supposed to go through it. I don't know. There's a card back there. Can I get that? Seems like the entrance would be this way. Hi, piranha plant. Don't really much care for you. Oh, good. That thing is just gonna jump off the edge, isn't it? It's so cute! But it's also gonna die. Can I actually blow that up if I use, uh... Boomer? Can I blow it up with Boomer? I can blow it up! Ha ha ha! I rigged the system. Oh god. Can I get up there? Is there any easier way to get up there? I might have to use Peach. It's kind of annoying having to switch between Peach and all those other partners. Or whatever. So I have to go in here and then do that. Looks like Peach is in fact the way to go. Okay. So now that I'm in the background, I can use Peach to uh, get over to wherever this thing is. Because I'm going at like the same- oh crap. Uh, ooh. I didn't even read Catch Car SP. A card that captures a foe's soul almost like it, it almost always works. That's interesting. Um, reduces all damage by half. 10 HP and cures poison. 7 HP cures poison. Um, if I can possibly keep that, I don't know what to do. Okay, so let's see if I can just use this real quick. Wait, can I not use it in the background? Are you serious? Oh god. Can can I not 
use it right now? Maybe I need- maybe I need to be Mario? No, I just- I- I can't- well, there, there goes my honey syrup, I guess. That's fine, whatever. I can't use it in the background, I did not realize that. And I should really be using more items, shouldn't I? That way I'm not always maxed out. So I think the next time I come across a large gap, I'm gonna make sure that I cross it. Anytime I come across a large number of enemies, I'm gonna try and use one of those uh, multiple attacking things or use that instead, whatever works. I did not know this was the, that kind of room. Can I like skip this part? I don't, I don't need to see this animation every single time. It is fun though. It just takes a lot of a lot of uh, a lot of time. Ooh, I leveled up. My max HP went up by five. Destroy everything. I wasn't sure if I could go through the door or not. Hi, Koopa. I'm surprised that you're a bad guy, considering that what. You don't have any shades. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, it's 8-bit Koopa. This is so awesome. Are we gonna have a giant 8-bit battle right now? Is that gonna be- is that what's gonna be happening here? Because I would totally dig that. 8-bit Koopa? Oh my god. <laughs> Run away. Oh my god. Is this not gonna be it? Can I actually skip this? Oh my god. This is gonna take forever. <laughs> So, do, do I just, you know, run straight at it and I can kill it? Is that how it works? Is Mario, like, just slightly above invincibility? Ha! Oh my god. That's freaking awesome. I might as well just continue going this way. I can still jump like this. Oh. What's this? Knee twib knee laugh. Yeah. The red pipes fall in between. Fall in between the red pipes. Okay, because it's backwards. It looked like it was probably written in German at first. <laughs> but I work at a language software company doing video editing and I feel like I should recognize what language that I'm looking or reading or listening to, even though I don't know any of the words yet, but I can recognize, oh, that's French. Oh, that's German. Oh, that's Spanish. Although sometimes- I, I still get Spanish and por Portuguese mixed up, because they sound very, very similar. Anything this way? No? Okay, well, okay, so I just need to fall between the red pipes, just like the sign said. Were there red pipes? I, I think I may have saw something, but it wasn't, like, significant at all. I'm, I'm, se I'm seeing red being the theme here, it seems. Um, I think this was another really large room. I'm just gonna fast forward through it. Okay, well I'm back in this room, so... Yeah, there's some red pipes. Yeah, I guess I just missed them entirely. There's another item back there, however... If I can, possibly... I can't Tippy. I can't use Tippy because Tippy is missing at the moment. Are there more enemies? There are a few more enemies. Let's see if- Oh god, whoa. Let's avoid that thing. Oh god. Let me see if I can possibly get more enemies on screen, but no. Um... Catch card, maybe? Is that gonna work? Ooh. You got a back Cursia card. Gl gotta try that. Oh, but now I have multiple enemies. Let me try something else. Um, shell shock is that even gonna work on uh, enemies that point at the screen? Okay, I I'm pointing. What did I fail that? Oh, it's just really tiny. I am a failure at life. Oh sweet, now, now I knocked it down. Is it- is that thing coming back? Or did I just completely screw myself? Oh, that, this is freaking great, isn't it? <laughs> I can't do crap. Now uh, there's a series of pipes. What's up with these pipes? What do I do? 
I think I, I, I may have screwed that. I don't know how to use that item yet, apparently. Um, what does this pipe do? Oh, it goes down. Okay. Whoa, hello, big blue guy. Oh, I use all my multiple attacks on other enemies. Oh god. How can I even get down there? Can I even get down to your level? Well, let me see what's in here. Ooh. You got a Thunder Rage. Strikes enemies with lightning. Well, I guess I suppose I can just wait for it to multiply multiple times. And then use that to kill everybody. Okay, I think there's a fair number on screen right now, so let's go right now. Use the Thunder Rage against what I literally just got. Oh, shake it. Shake, wait! Oh, I haven't even been trying the stylish moves. I totally forgot about that. I really should try and attempt that more often. 12 damage, holy crap. That's a lot. Holy crap. Dude, that is so much, so much experience. An easy way to do it, too. Um, I guess there's something else past here that I want to pick up. Yeah, because there was like an ice storm or something over here. I assume I can use this against multiple enemies as well. I don't know if I really want to fall down that gap. Seems like that would be a bad idea. Yeah, but there's the red pipes. I want to see what else there is to do with all these blocks, though. I think if I just continue going this way, I'll end up back at the pipe. There we go. I haven't checked over here in 3D, so... Oh, that would be a person? All of these are shaped like people, and that one is doing squats or something. Interesting. Can I get up there at all? I wonder. Well, I suppose there's probably a way to get up there. I just need to figure out what I can jump on top of. So, like, up here, please? So now I'm on top of the blocks. But where do I go from here? Is there anything else to do? I suppose I can go up here. And up there. And that would be a card of some sort. You got a piranha plant card. Cool. Okay. Anything else up here that I might be missing? Or is that it? Did I do it? Did I just figure that out? Okay. Well, I guess there's not really much else over here. So I think in, in the meantime... Um, I'm gonna go down between these red pipes in the next episode. So thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you next time when uh, I'm gonna fall down between the red pipes and see what else there is for me to do over here. See if I can very quickly just fly over to those pipes. Ooh.